What's going on guys? So this morning taking a trade here probably this is honestly one of my best trades to date At least in the last couple of months. I feel really really good about this trade I'm gonna show you guys a trade show you guys my thought process show you guys Exactly what I was thinking thinking about and doing for this trade on BIMI really with small size only a thousand shares you know, locking down over $300 in profit. I'm going to show you guys a trade here in a second, so make sure you stay tuned. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button because I'm going live later on today at 12 p.m. Eastern, and I'll be talking about some stuff that's going on with the market and Bitcoin and all that fun stuff trading in general. So make sure you guys tune in. I will see you guys then. Until then, let's get into this live trade here and talk about the action, the action that's going down right here, right now. Before we get into the trade here, I want to talk really quickly about what you're going to see. What you're going to see is a beautifully executed short opportunity, a trade that set itself up. It set itself up. It did exactly what I needed it to do the whole entire time I was in the driver's seat. And that's a major, a major thing that I'm focusing on right now is making sure that instead of trying to, you know, be the first to the party or be the first to get short or buy the dip. I want to make sure that the entire trade, I have a plan, I'm in the driver's seat, and I understand what's my risk, what's my return, what am I looking for, what's my target, and having all of that mapped out. So before I get into the trade, before, and while, and while I'm in the trade, I can be confident in that trade, and maybe I can add to it, maybe I can easily take profit, and things like that. You're going to see all of that here pretty quickly, and you're going to see the entire trade that I just made here on BIMI this morning. I'm going to talk about all of that fun stuff. So make sure you guys stay tuned. So as you can see here, AKTX down there to 225 now. And uh, looking like it's basically uh, just done for the day. Just like I posted uh, earlier this morning. Uh, you can see here, talking about AKTX this morning. Uh, not thinking that thing was going to have much action on it. And look at it now, down there to 226. So uh, not bad. Just didn't have the opportunity to get short here at open you can see it just kind of washed right out there and then uh, down there at 226 so a couple stocks this morning moving around asln halted a couple times uh bimi bimi as a uh short opportunity here if we can uh kind of break through this support area there i think this thing could kind of just wash out and uh, go lower here so there we go getting that break down so let's see if we can go a little bit lower from there and then try to get short into the kind of uh, next candle on this thing we're just kind of losing all that support area there we'll see kind of i like to get maybe that uh pop back up here on this next candle on the 380 area looking for a short at the 380s let's see if we get that pop back up there 380 area not getting a pop here. Let me see if I can maybe get a little bit, a little bit here. And, uh, maybe 370s. I think we can pop up a little bit. We gotta give me a little bit of a pop here. Don't really want to just buy right here as we're kind of bouncing around. We got a little bit of previous support there, the 345s. So looking for this to give me an entry before getting short here. Like I said, up there in the 370s would be ideal. I'll take maybe this is a starter position here in the 360s because we're just having a little bit of trouble right now. See so if we can get up there, maybe 365. Let's see right here. Come on. Give me a little pop. Give me an opportunity to get short here. There we go. Getting some there on this pop and I'll add some more as we push up here to 380s to the VWAP. Target for this trade would be the, uh, I'll say $3 area. This thing kind of just go lower as the day goes on here. I'd like to add some more though before going that low. But looking like it might just wanna wash here, break below that 345 area pretty quickly here. So overall, just showing a lot of weakness right now. So that's good in our favor here. 
So we want to see. I'll look to uh, maybe just cover 250 shares down in the uh, 330s if we get all the way down there, 330 area. I think I can add some more here. I just feel pretty, pretty good about this overall trade. So I can add some more. We do push up here again to the 360s. And kind of just fade this one back down. Oh, yeah. Looking for the fade here. You can see on the five minute, kind of why I'm thinking we might get that pullback down here to the 330s first. We got the uh, 20 EMA there on the five minute chart, kind of right around that 330 or so. It was looking for that kind of just wash down there to the 330s. So getting some fill there on that dip. You can see still got 750 shares left here and letting this one kind of just ride at this point. No real reason for me to cover just yet fully. Might be just taking another 250 in the 320 area if we get down to the 320s and then kind of let this figure out how far she wants to go. So pushing back up into those EMAs now. Got the 9 and the 20 there, the yellow and the red line. Let's see if this is going to turn into keep that resistance kind of going, keep that trend trending lower. Like I said, we are kind of bouncing on the uh, five-minute chart right there on the 20. So expecting a little bit of a bounce here on that 20 EMA. We might get a little push back up here, try to rebound here a little bit. But I think overall we're still going to be heading lower. So we'll see what happens here now in the one minute if this EMA area is going to act as resistance and want to push this push it push it back down here looking for a little bit more I'd like to cover the 250 shares down there in the uh, 320s and then let the rest ride for the possible move down there to the threes later on today. Or if we get some some nice big overextended candle, I might look to get short again. Another thousand shares short there. Wouldn't mind getting short back into that VWAP there. The three seventies again. So looking for this to kind of pop, get back up there to the VWAP area and get short again, or add on to the short, I guess. See if it'll pop up there. There we go. Up there at 360 now. Looking for more. Give me more, baby. Getting another 500 shares there at 360. And then I'll add another 500 up there at the 370s. We kind of expected this move. Remember earlier talking about that 20 EMA there on the five minute chart. So we expected uh, kind of a bounce around that area. So kind of looking for that view app now to be our kind of top of this move and then kind of just roll back off here. So we'll see if we can get up there to the VWAP area one more time. So looking like that 360 area now holding it down, not getting all the way up there to the VWAP. See if we can get a fill in the 335 area. Let's see if we can get down there 335. Again, I'd like to see if we can't lose this 335 area here and just kind of wash out back down to this 225 uh, or 325, 325 there. And I think it should really start to uh, ramp up here. Let's see if we can get filled there. 335 getting 500 fill. So now we're looking to see if we can't wash below 225 like we just talked about like we just talked about people look at that go it's 
Gonna be a beautiful Christmas. Get another 250 filled there. And we're locking it down right now. So we got 500 shares left. Let's see if we can get all the way, all the way, all the way down, down, down here to the $3 area now. So basically at this point, I'm just riding gold at this point. Uh, it's, you know, nothing but green, green, green from here. So I've got 500 shares left. I've locked down $310 in profit, realized profit. And then I've got uh, some, you know, unrealized profit to go here. So at this point, what I'm going to do is I'll put my stop there at the 350 area. My average on those last 500 shares is 362. So all I've got to do here is uh, basically just sit back and, and wait at this point. So I'll put my stop out. There we go. Putting my stop out for you guys to see. We'll put it at 351 just for shits and giggles which would still lock me in with 10 cents profit. So still $50 in profit there if it does pop back up. But for now, I can just let this one ride and possibly get down there below $3 later on today. So BIMI, this is a beautiful trade. I felt like the whole entire time I was in the driver seat and I didn't need to be early to this trade. You know, I, I didn't need to try to short the front of the trade. All I need to do is just kind of wait for that pullback. We got overextended. We got the pullback. We got below the VWAP, below the EMAs, and then I waited. I waited. I waited, and that was the patience kind of really paying off. So I know, I know, this is a you know obviously a simulator trade today, but still, this is this is what I'm working on. This is what I want to get better about, and just kind of seeing and reading and just you know really just focusing, 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 focusing. And I think today was a really good example of that here. Uh, B I M I on this trade the whole entire time pretty much being in the driver's seat that's the key the key to being a good good trader is being in the driver's seat you know controlling the trade understanding okay i'm gonna get short here at the 360s i'm risking off the 370s so i'm only risking 10 cents here and knowing in my head knowing in my head patrick if this thing doesn't work out i'm gonna get out of the trade for a small loss instead of you know shorting on this side and not being in the driver's seat shorting let's say i'm okay i'm like oh my god i'm gonna short it's going higher it's above four dollars and then all of a sudden it's at four dollars and 55 cents and i get out for a 500 dollars loss instead you saw with this trade all i had to do was just wait and wait be patient look for that opportunity once the opportunity arise once the opportunity showed you know once it was there it was very clear that this was you know a good area to short had a good risk return Overall, the trade was there. It set itself up for me to take the trade. Instead of me trying to force it, trying to short the front side, this was really a beautiful trade. And now we'll see what happens if this thing's going to get down there below $3 later on today, which it looks like it's probably going to go. And just to, just to show you guys here, uh, I, like I said, I know that it's a trading account. You can see making $310 there on this trade on BIMI and still got $155 to lock down there later on if it does want to get going lower from here but still either way i'm locked into the green i'm up at minimum fifty dollars on this trade at this point you know a minimum of making another fifty dollars on this trade adding on to the 310 but either way i'm walking away green and that's exactly what i need to do i feel really really good about this trade i feel i feel good about it so there it is I'm gonna go ahead and close it out. I've got a webinar going on later today, a live stream, gonna be live on YouTube at 12 p.m. Eastern. So make sure you guys tune in. If you guys haven't already hit that subscribe button, I will talk to you guys later on.